so I think I would like to make the an attempt again at making my comic characters in this drawing segment. I'll have to work kind of quick because there are a lot. But I'll get them done. I'm going to start with the easiest of all, and that is the character Dick. He's not really got that much going on at all. He's kind of a super simple character. And that is perfect because the goat is kind of a super complex character. So, yes. Look, he's almost done if I just don't screw up this eye. Ah, almost screwed up the eye. <laughs> That's the hard part about talking. You almost jinx yourself sometimes by just saying things out loud. You're like, don't screw it up. And it happens. Alright. So now this is back on track. Hopefully my whole hand being in this doesn't smudge it. Good. Uh, I usually give him his collar because he doesn't really have anything on that's going on, so I just want to at least give him... Oh, that's kind of crap though. So I think I give him some shoulders and bring this whole thing. It happens. But that's big character number four, no? And then when I do Rupert without having like a a sketch underneath, I usually just start with that weird nose and the mustache because the mustache kind of goes on top. So it's just easier to uh, put everything else around it because that's most of his face right there and I can kind of tell where the eyes go and where the chin goes based off of all that. And if you're kind of wondering, it's like, I've drawn these characters so many times for the comic that it's just like, I can kind of do them from memory, but it's just kind of getting used to talking and performing in a certain way while drawing them. That's confusing me right now. But I can really like draw them on this spot anytime. Like sometimes if well, I see my friend has a copy of Rupert and the Goat, I'll like quickly draw the three characters and like sign my name in the back. Just a little like extra bonus type of thing. So Rupert's gonna look kind of out of it in this, but whatever. Rupert, I gave really weird eyebrows for some reason. It'd be like that. right real quick. There we go. All the key lines are in. So it's all come together now. It's just kind of trying to land the lines in the right spot that kind of trips me up sometimes. Because sometimes you could put a line in just like a slightly different position and it throws everything. The whole depth of field and everything off. You just want to make sure like on a higher level of art, you're kind of watching the contours of things too, to like make sure that things bend and are concave or convex in the way you want, so that way things have more form and bend to them. Like if this line here was just a straight line, it would look completely different than if it's this bend here, because this bend gives it the illusion of it turning and all that. So now I can like make the whole when I put the upper eyebrow in, it kind of has like a three-dimensional space to it because this has more form than if it was a straight line. So it's, it's kind of tricky to like get the lines in the right spot without like a sketch underneath because you don't necessarily know where exactly to hit, so you got to focus. And also just study anatomy. That's a big factor in perspective and all that sauce. Because those are all just tools that you need to kind of understand how, like the drawing plane and the concept of like drawing in space and drawing an accurate human body and how things move and shit like that. It's all available on the internet. <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah. Work. Oh, I didn't put his eye. Whack. Whack. Eyes are my favorite part. Definitely. Alright, so there's Rupert. Now I just need the goat. Oh, I have a nice big open space on the bottom, which is cool. I'll put their names all on if he has his name. Uh, Alright, hopefully. Yeah. Rupert and the go. Book one of three. Diner series. These guys are in a trilogy. I'm making like a multiverse kind of thing. But it's still in the works. Book two is coming out this week. Well, the week that I'm recording this. Hopefully it'll be out soon. And book three is all ready to go. I just need to get the time to make the art right. But it's written and storyboarded, so it's moving. The go is so interesting as a character to draw because he's got these horns that are stiff and then right underneath he has these ears that are floppy so it's just kind of a lot and furry because it's like two different textures with the same shape so it's just kind of a a weird thing to draw and then his eyeballs are kind of not necessarily just straight they're kind of these awkward shapes like it's a more oval this is more of an oval shape and then he has this like goats in general they don't have circular circular pupils they have that so it's just kind of something you got to get used to is how to draw that on the roundness of an eyeball kind of I don't even know if I'll have room for his face. That's alright. Just kind of work. Do, 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 do. All right, looking pretty good. We're almost near the end. Thank you for tuning in. Didn't have a whole lot to talk about. Keep your eye out for the books. As always, I'm going to be putting them out shortly. They're going to be done by the midway point of next year for sure. For sure, I hope. I'll probably be posting more of these videos shortly. I would love to hear what you think. If you like them, if I need to tone it down, if I need to enunciate more, let me know. I need to put his other ear in. It is kind of cool because I feel like nobody really, everybody just sees the end result of what I do. Nobody really sees some of the process. I hope to kind of expand on these videos once I have an audience more and do like longer stuff. I even kind of recorded like two painting videos, but they were like 40 minutes long. And I was like, nobody's going to watch these 40 minute long videos off rip. So might as well make some shorter stuff to begin with. Word. I'll put my, like, CJV right here just to fill up some space. Beautiful. That came out pretty nice. I like it. Happy all around. Uh, keep your eyes peeled. Let me know if you want to see more. As always, I'm trying my best and my name is Christian. Christian tries his best. Whoop, whoop. Cut.